My name is Kathleen Lesson, and I'm a board certified massage therapist practicing in the city of San Diego, California. And my specialty is a type of massage called manual lymphatic drainage. And I help uh, men and women after plastic surgery, especially procedures like facelifts and tummy tucks to help reduce that um, tight, heavy feeling that happens because of swelling after the plastic surgery procedure. So we're gonna do a little bit of a science experiment today to help explain exactly why um, swelling results in this feeling that my clients have told me is like a heavy and a tight feeling. And this can happen in the face after a facelift or it can happen in the abdominal area after a tummy tuck or liposuction. So I got these two um, natural sponges off of the internet. So they're not exactly the same, but let's pretend that they're mostly the same. So I will take one of my sponges and um, put it in this water. Here's the fun science experiment part. So the sponge is um, has more water. So this water is going to mimic the water that happens um, with swelling that happens naturally, the swelling is completely natural after a plastic surgery procedure. So I can't, you almost have to have two of these at home to get the full um, of what's really happening um, with the experiment, but I'll show you the two again. And they look the same, they look almost the same on the outside, but this one is heavier. And intuitively we would know that, well of course Kathleen, you just put it in water, there's more water in there, it's going to be heavier. And also, um, whereas there's, um, this is like a normal tissue and this is a tissue that has swelling in it after uh, plastic surgery, that this tissue, maybe you can squeeze down and nothing happens, but this one, you can't squeeze very much before, um, you know, water starts coming out. So this one is, is much more um, squeezable. And this one is less squeezable because it's holding more fluid. It's holding more of what would be swelling after plastic surgery. So this is an experiment, an idea I first got from uh, my training in lymphedema because this is the same thing that happens to ladies after um, they have cancer, um, like breast cancer, and they would have a lymph node removed and that would um, bring swelling into their arm if the lymph, uh, the lymphatic system wasn't able to clear all the lymph because their lymph nodes have been removed. So the first stage of lymphedema is the same as um, the symptoms can be similar to what happens after plastic surgery because what happens is the same when there's extra uh, lymph, extra swelling in the body that the lymphatic system can't um, take care of naturally the limb with uh, stage zero lymphedema will look the same outside to the person outside, but be heavier and um, feel heavier and um, maybe a little tighter. So this is a great uh, little experiment to give you maybe um, a hard and fast look at something that is mostly um, felt in the body rather than seen. We don't see a lot uh, like a giant swelling after plastic surgery and definitely, you know, after two weeks, um, most of the swelling has gone down, but there's still, if there's still this tight and heavy feeling, it's because there's still swelling in the tissue. So it's like this sponge. And even though to the outside, it doesn't look very different, it definitely feels very different to um, the client that has had the plastic surgery procedure. So the good news is that lymphatic drainage can help this. It can um, help to move that lymph um, to a lymph node that is operating, that can handle it, and then um, you'll, be, you'll feel lighter after the procedure. Um, you'll feel less tight if there's a tightness in the face or a heaviness in the abdomen. Um, the clients that I've worked with have all felt an improvement after um, a few sessions. And sometimes after the very first session, they've been very happy 
and felt an improvement. So if you're really into science, um, get two of your own sponges and try it out yourself and you can see um, what's happening inside your body after, um, after plastic surgery or other surgery that occurs uh, that ends up with swelling. So have a great day. And if you are um, researching plastic surgery and how best to recover from plastic surgery, I um, will fill this YouTube channel with, um, this is a fun video, but I also have book reviews. I also have um, other tips on how to recover best from surgery. So please subscribe to my channel.